this example no reality in it just example <laughs> one evening i am walking i am walking with the five of my students it's evening little dark on the footpath somebody is lying there and one of my student hits this person kicks this person and this person shouts are you blind you got eyes or button holes <laughs> these words come to my ear and i find a wonderful sensation in my body very pleasant sensation a flow of very pleasant sensation somebody is abused you got eyes or button holes and i am getting a very pleasant sensation <laughs> one incident second incident i am going alone i have hit this person and he shouts the same language the same words the same tone are you blind you got eyes or button holes now i find no pleasant sensation no pleasant sensation unpleasant sensations are there third incident again example is example i am going and with me my five students and again i have hit i have hit and again he shouted same words are you blind you got eyes or button holes and i find the unpleasant sensation is more severe than last time same words but yet such difference fourth time just an example again i am walking i have hit the person again the same tone he shouted are you blind you got eyes or button holes and suddenly i realized these are the words of my son my son my son abusing me are you blind you got eyes or button holes oh the sensation becomes so unpleasant <laughs> so unpleasant fifth time again example is example i am walking with five of my students i have hit this person he shouted in the same way i have recognized my son oh now it is totally unbearable unbearable why the same words came to the ears five times and why it is so different what happens a good way person number it it will start understanding what happens the first time first time when these words came my sanya says yes these are words of abuse but not for you <laughs> not for you they are for your students and these students i keep on teaching them be aware be aware <laughs> walk with aware walk with mindfulness and they are so immature they have not understood anything hit somebody and they have to suffer this abuse i am a vipassana teacher i can't make such mistake look this abuse is not for me it is for my student and there is a pleasant sensation throughout the day. as soon as one takes birth and grows and uh, comes to senses whether one comes to senses or loses senses who knows but in the worldly language we say one comes to senses the first thing one one does carves a image image of oneself i goinka and when i carve my own image i carve very beautiful beautiful goinka wonderful goinka wonderful goinka <laughs> and i establish this image in the temple of my mind wonderful goinka is so wonderful now first time when i found that abuse is to my students who are immature i am a matured person i am a vipassana teacher then this image got some more shiny over it some more polish ah wonderful going guy is so wonderful he cannot make mistakes others make mistakes second time the same abuse and my sanya says it is for you now not for your student there is no student here and this image that was carved and attachment towards this image and this image gets shattered somebody somebody abusing me such a big vipassana teacher me what happened to you <laughs> you're not bleeding you're not dying away what's wrong why you shout the whole attitude changes now very unpleasant sensation starts and third time again why it was much more because these five students who were with me one keeps on making this madness one carves one's image and establishes in one's own mind develops lot of attachment that itself is madness now another thing that one keeps on doing gets establishes a good image of oneself in the minds of others every student must know goinka is wonderful oh look goinka is wonderful and that image one plays so many dramas and so many things just to establish a good image these five students i had done so much to establish my good image in the minds of these five students now all these five students the image is shattered previously only one image was shattered now five images getting shattered i feel so unhappy five times more unhappy 
somebody abuses me when I am alone, I say it doesn't matter, he has abused me. But in public with so many people, what makes the difference? Abuse is abuse, whether you are alone or whether you are with so many other people, because you have put your image in the minds of so many people and now that gets shattered, you are much more unhappy. That becomes clearer and clearer as you go deeper and make an analytical study of the things. Fourth time, why it is more unhappy. I, I, the sphere of I increases now, mine, mine, mine. And you start uh, making images of mine, my son, my daughter, my wife, my husband, my mother, my father, my so, my so, my so. And you carve a beautiful image. And you start developing tremendous amount of attachment. At the apparent level, you keep on fooling yourself. I love my son, I love my wife, I love my husband, I love my mother, I love my father. If you go deeper, you will understand you don't love anybody. At the time of Buddha, the king of the country, Pasenjit, he came in contact with Buddha, meditated, became a good Vipassana meditator. And one member of the family becomes good meditator, others slowly get attracted. So the whole family was a Vipassana meditator. His wife, Mallika, the queen, she also very good meditator. Both of them meditate in their meditation room in the palace. One day after one hour sitting, this king asked the queen, Mallika, tell me, whom do you love the most in the world? And she says, wonderful. The same question came in my mind while I was meditating. And I realized, I love myself. I don't love anybody. I don't, I don't love anybody. Person just smiled. He said, the same question came to my mind. I examined myself. I found I love only myself. I don't love anybody. Without Vipassana, it would have been totally different. A queen saying to the king that I, don't lo I love only myself, not you. Her head would have been taken off. What kind of queen? But now both are Vipassana meditators, very happy. They went to Buddha and said, sir, in meditation it so happened. Buddha said, sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. This is the beginning where you can start rectifying yourself. So long as one remains under the delusion that I love so-and-so, I love so-and-so, I love so-and-so, one does not come out of the madness. When one starts realizing, I love myself, oh, look, what a self-centered person I am. What a selfish person I am. Whom you say mine, my son, my wife, my husband, etc., etc., you have got a dream. You have certain aspirations. And you want this person to fulfill those dreams. You are dreaming that this person will fulfill my dream, such and such dream. And that's why you are loving. Your love is expecting something in return. And when your love is expecting something in return, you are not loving this person. You are loving yourself. You are loving your own aspirations. You are loving your own dreams. Self-centered love. It doesn't help. Pure love is just one way traffic you give. You don't expect anything in return. You just give. Just give. When a Vipassana meditator starts realizing that, then one starts coming out of this selfishness, this narrow-mindedness. So now what happened in the fourth time? This son of mine, so much dream was taken when he grows, he will be son of a Vipassana teacher, so he will be serving him like anything, he will be so obedient and <laughs> like this and, and like that. And now my sanya says, these words are from your son, my son abusing me. Ordinary person on the street whom I didn't know and with whom I had no dreams for future, this person abuses me. I don't like it, but it doesn't have much effect. My son. He abuses me. Oh, it becomes so unbearable. Now, fifth time, why it is much more un unbearable. Because the same mistake I keep on doing, the image of my son, as I try to establish my image in the minds of others, I try to establish the image of my son, my daughter, my wife, my so, my so, so wonderful. They may have some defect, but I keep on covering the defect. Oh, no, 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 they are so wonderful, so wonderful. Now the images I established in the mind of five of my students about my son, those images got shattered. I am five times more unhappy. All that will become very clear when you, when you know how to observe your sensation. Something has happened, what kind of sensation? Something has happened, what kind of sensation? This is how Vipassana will help you.